So welcome everyone to our Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group. Today is August 23. And the first item we want to talk about is the work that we started before. Allison had prepared a uh, slide deck taking the questions and metrics goal questions metrics that we created for event organizers. And our goal is to think about what's the better way to present this work. Because if we go to our app ecosystem repository, we have the event organizers mm -hmm. uh, document. And for someone who is organizing events, just digging through all of this is really, that's at least the feedback we got a lot of work and we had gone through and collected feedback and started revising this. So this is what, what you're seeing here. Okay. And one idea, and thank you, Allison, for preparing this is to put into slides. Do you want to say more about it, Allison? Um, sure, I guess I can. Um for the recording's sake. So I guess the idea behind it was having a recording or um, a different layout so it's easier to share um, and easier to sort of make into a template for other communities or other companies later on. Um, also something that's easily able to, you know, change the layout very quickly put in any sort of numbers that you want to put in and um, just be able to maneuver it a little bit better and not have that big wall of text that you typically mm. get from a Word document. That makes a lot of sense. I like not being barraged with walls of text as I am in most meetings. Yeah, it's uh, been my sort of theme this year is uh, no text documents if possible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good goal. That's awesome. So, Sean, I'm going to put you on the spot if you're okay with this. Oh, sure, go for um, it. If you come to this document, as an event organizer, we just promised you the ultimate metric guide that you need for understanding events. No, that's a little overselling yeah. it. But we, we say, okay, we have identified some goals that you might have, like retaining, right. attracting contributors. And are the format we use is for each goal, we have questions that you might have and, and then metrics, metrics that can help you answer those. Mm -hmm. If you come to this document, and you just look at it, do you, what, what's your first reaction? So I'm colored by my experience in other chaos working groups. My first reaction is that I would expect to see all of these metrics ultimately developed formally as chaos metrics mm -hmm. on an individual basis. And so the goal, like retaining and attracting contributors um, is a goal. And then you have these different questions and I can't remember like, um, I, I, it's length of time of attendance, time since first contribution, time since last contribution. I mean, yeah, these are, these are like all the metrics are measurable. I haven't, and I haven't seen other working groups package them this way. And this does help me understand a lot of contextual relationships between these metrics which is probably what leads your group to discuss, like, for example, this question slide might be a model in your vernacular. Is that accurate? Am I tracking correctly? I, I think so, yes. Um, so let me look back at it. Yeah, I don't think we've used the term model. And I think where you're headed with modeling 
uh, we, we can talk about the this as well because it goes into a slightly different direction from what we had been talking mm -hmm. about. Right. We so so we did not go all the way to developing metrics like right. what the other working groups have done. This is cool. I mean, we, I think yeah. Yeah. So so we have stopped at the point of identifying what the metrics are so that we have a catalog of metrics. Mm -hmm. List your um, use cases before you write them. It seems like a good idea. I mean, it's a good way to approach the big picture. Yeah. And so that's that's where where this is at. And we have, right now we are collecting feedback on does this even make sense? Um, it makes sense. To, I mean, now that it's been contextualized for me, it makes sense. I'm not sure it did it first, but but now I get it. Yeah. And so we have spoken with the with the KDE Academy organizers, with the GNOME Guadec organizers, and Allison is uh, also part of that conversation mm -hmm. to see, hey, can we use these metrics to understand our events better? Right. And so we haven't thought about all the details for how to collect the metrics, how to display the metrics, all that. We're not that far. If, if well, I think, even... Yeah, well, I mean, I think asking the question is this, would a metric like this be useful is very good, a very good idea before you spend the time developing the full chaos metric. Yeah. And so I like that feedback loop. So I, I see Shriram joined. Hey, Shri. Hello. How are you? Sorry, I'm late. No worries. So I, I think this format makes sense. Now we can add colors and pictures to make it more fun to look at. <laughs> that, that's what's in my, my head. Uh, because the content is there, at least for me, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I've stared at this for over a year now. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think there's a Great suggestion, and thank you, Allison, for putting this together. And yeah, is, is should we put a link to it in the meeting minutes, and then people can look? Or did I miss that link somewhere? Uh, it is. In... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I it's right the first thing. I somehow missed that, like a genius. Well, it wasn't there earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for telling. Yeah. Yeah. Was there anything else on event metrics or the organization of event metrics that we wanted to talk about today? I guess I, when I was going back through them again last week, I think we really hit all of the major points and there wasn't too much being reiterated in a different way, which is also really good. Um, I didn't find any sort of weak spots or blank spots um, that I could think of off the top of my head. So I think with what work was put in last month, it's come together quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a highly, it's a very accessible doc to your point. I mean, it serves the exact purpose that Georg described. This is. I mean, you can present it in exactly that way, I think, to, you know, to people who, um, I mean, it might be interesting to have, um, you know, it's, what's interesting is the engage, you know, some of these metrics like engaging new contributors, these are of, of really keen interest to other working groups like DEI and the chaos badging program. Um, so I think there's a lot of, um, I don't know, synergy or, um, these are nice specific metrics that haven't been developed that I think are, are worth developing. And I think the question is, is this group, are these metrics sort of, um, one of the interesting traits about them is that some of it, what you, this is the first working group I've been in where there is a mix a pretty clear mix of metrics that I can gather by mining a repository and metrics that I have to get information to produce in some other way, like a survey or a registration 
data system. Um, so in the other working groups, DEI is almost all other uh, process description. And a lot of the other working groups are primarily trace data mining of, of get logs or discussion boards or issue trackers, et cetera. And here I see a nice mix of those two different kinds of things, which is, and I, again, I do like, I'll repeat myself. I do like that they're put together in these collections, we'll call them. Collections, yeah. Because Gear kind of introduced the larger efforts of this group to the chaos community meeting a little bit earlier when there was a suggestion. Have you told everybody this history? Uh, not yet. I was going to go ahead try to finish I'll the shut event up. organizer one and then yep. I was going to. All right. Go okay. All right. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess a lot of like coming from the event organizer standpoint, these definitely are not typical metrics that you would find. I mean, these are things that all event organizers talk about, but they're not easily obtainable and you have to actually put some effort into getting the information you're looking for, which makes them that much better of metrics. And I think when a large enough group starts to use metrics like this, it will start to slowly become standard practice after time. Yeah, I think if, I agree. If once, once uh, events start producing these kinds of metrics for themselves, other events will want the same thing. Sponsors yeah. would appreciate info like this too. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So uh, listen, I, I had a question. When you put this um, together, did you mm -hmm. base it on the edits that we already made here and the comments that we had for making the edits or did you base it on the original that was in I based the, it on the edits. On the edits, okay. Because a lot of those edits took out duplications and um, and and not irrelevant things, but things that were less relevant or sort of reworded to be something else. That that's awesome. Th thank you for making us <laughs> saving us the yeah. time of having to redo. Those edits again. All that filtering, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think what remains to be done, we don't, I don't think we'll do it today, is to go through the other comments and uh, notes that we had, uh, make sure that we address all of those. And then I think we are ready for releasing version two of the metrics. Awesome. Well, great progress. Thank you, everyone. And then. So I, so I, based on some of the discussions in the larger community, I added the second item to your agenda during another chaos working group meeting, because there's another chaos working group that is looking to like, we have a thing that we want to measure that looks more like what you have here where it's composed of a number of different metrics. Some of them may already exist, some of them may not. Yeah, and we, so, so for more, more background there, one of the things that we've talked about for a long time is how do we bring metrics together in new and different ways and having metrics models that that's the word I, I i'm not quite sure what metric models are so that's yeah. something we can discuss here so it came out of the i can give you a little history it came out of the asia pacific working group um and it is essentially i think the same concept as what you're showing me in this template where it's showing you what metrics are commonly grouped together to answer a question and i'll see if i can find 
their examples of metric models or if you have it handy. I think it's the same terminology. Maybe you, you haven't given your collections that word and they have. Yeah, I don't think we have given it any word. We were just like yeah. saying, hey, we have this question and here are different metrics or different ways we can approach this question. And so it naturally created a collection of metrics that can answer the same question. And so one of the one of the conversations that we had on the weekly chaos call is whether this metrics models conversation or grouping metrics together to get deeper insights that go beyond individual metrics is something that we want to do here as part of the app ecosystem working group or if there are ways that we have thought about metrics in that other working groups haven't thought about in that way, like with the slide deck, that is something that is unique to this working group. No other working group has done that before. And I think what was very useful about the way that you organize things is that before you've built metrics, you've painted the larger picture. And I, I think to some extent, the rest of the working groups do that through the spreadsheet that is shared but I don't know if it's as effective as actually, I, I, I mean, I really, really like the fact that you've talked through like a collection of metrics and what questions the answer and kind of organize them again, like a list of use cases. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's very helpful. Like it's, it's a, a pattern of work that might be useful to expose to the rest of chaos as an organization. I, I, I find that interesting observation because I thought that's how the other chaos Working goes with <laughs> I because Mark Yurg has set this thing from the very beginning uh, of uh, how we organize this. So I, I just assumed that that was this was the current working model everyone else follows. I haven't looked at the other working groups. So I I think I think to some extent it is, but I think this makes it much easier for me as the like a first time attender, or maybe I came to one meeting a year ago or something, but as really a first time participant in this meeting, this is much easier for me to digest than the way that the rest of the working groups do it, which is that giant list of metrics in the state that they're in. And there's no attempt to group, they, they're kind of grouped under categories, but some of those categories are pretty loose. Um, yeah, and, and I think the other unique thing is, is because it's an app ecosystems, there are two nonprofits, desktop projects working in concert. And so mm -hmm. each of them have um, the same goal, but their implementation is is, uh, is unique to them, right? So, right, right. Um, and so doing all these from a higher level, because we can all agree that apps are important. Right, so that's yeah, like, I don't have a computer yeah, without them. That is the uh, organizational value, that, uh, regardless yeah. of how we how we do things. We can yeah. that. <laughs> so, for for background, Sean, if uh, it is of interest to take this back or replicating this kind of work. The approach we have taken is to say, hey, we have profiles. We have different people who want to understand our app ecosystem. And these people or these profiles or um, where, where do we have personas? So we, we identified these personas and they are the promotion communications team, the financial team, the community managers, the release managers, the coordinators across projects, event activities organizers, and mentors. So we identified who are the people that would look at metrics mm -hmm. because we wanted to build a set of metrics that are targeting specific answers or specific um, 
use cases. And then we went through an exercise. I, I think we did this first, actually, of goals and questions. What do we want to understand and why? And then in a second exercise, after we had who is doing that looking and what do they want to know, we grouped them together. So we had a pers persona to goal matching exercise. Oh, wow. Where we went through and we matched, okay, the promotion and communications team has these goals. Mm -hmm. And then these are just goals. What do they want to do? Right. We haven't even talked about metrics yet. Then the financial team, what are their goals? And then the community managers, what are their goals? So we, we went through each you know, persona and really dug in what do they want to do right before we then dove into what are the metrics and we did that mm -hmm. for two um that next step one is the event organizers mm -hmm. which is this gigantic um document that became the powerpoint ish yes. thing that i can understand easily right and here the question it was, okay, we have this goal. Mm -hmm. What are the questions that we need to answer for reaching that goal? And then what are this, the metrics? And when the, what, where do we get oh. the data for that metric? So we went mm -hmm. through that exercise. Wow. And this is as close as we get to the chaos metric definition that other working groups have, mm -hmm. but very informal still. And after this event organizers was done, we started looking at um the promotions and communications team and that's so, the one I mean, what, we're working on okay oh we started working on this one and then we had the opportunity of reconnecting with allison and others about the event organizers metrics because the time was right and so we went back to revise the work that we had done here mm -hmm. so one i mean i think from the perspective of this group, is it your hope to develop chaos metrics from these models? Or I can also see a case that that a lot of the work that you've done might be work that you could sort of divvy up across some of the other existing working groups, like providing a larger context for some of the metrics that are being developed. And I think what you do next is, or how you involve or don't involve other working groups is entirely, obviously, this group's choice. But if you don't want to develop metrics, there may be chaos working groups that do yeah. want to take some of this work and build actual metrics. And really the only difference is it, it gets a little bit deeper in sort of into the, how do we interpret it? How do we represent it question? And it provides, I think, uh, another level of what I will call taxonomic depth that helps us make sure that we are talking about the same thing when we talk about each of these metrics. And I think that's what what chaos has helped open source in general start to accomplish is the simplest example is when we're talking about a commit that went through at the very beginning of chaos like four years ago I mean, an unbelievable to me amount of discussion about how to count commits. Um, it was a subject of much more debate than I expected. <laughs> yep. And and at least this is my perspective on, on this group and uh, everyone else is welcome to share their perspective as well. I think our focus here is really about that high level picture of how do we draw data together and get meaningful insights and not so much on the, how do we define the metric? Uh, how do we get the data? And so partnering with other working groups, I think is an excellent idea to get that um, get that standardization or that um, level of quality into the metric. Well, and it, it may be the case that you don't, this group doesn't feel they even necessarily need that. Like just having this list of things that, that can be asked and you can go about starting to measure, um, especially for things like that really aren't me like metric time since first contribution for att event attendees. I mean, I think there you're talking about cross-referencing a lot of data and, you know, we might not be able to define that metric until we actually try to do it 
for an event. You know, I think I think for many of our metrics has been writing down the things that we already do. And and the, this like that one, I can I don't know of an event that actually does that yet. Yep. Maybe the maybe the GNOME and uh, group does. I don't know. Well, Allison can can share more about what what they're doing, but my my takeaway from the, our conversations has been these are great ideas for metrics, but we need to make some changes to the registration process or to how we uh, will be able to collect and compare and correlate the metrics. Um, is there any plans to start collecting these metrics across different communities or events? So chaos as a community has not, not been a data collection effort. And we have been defining metrics and helping like events or communities or companies that want to have metrics with here are tools and metrics and here's a language to talk about all this. We have not collected the metrics um, or centralized it or compared. I know Sean has done uh, some work through the Augur project and helping with the metric collection as a way of basically prototyping metrics. Okay. But it, it's not a chaos metric data pool. Is that fair, Sean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I think I think Grimoire Lab does something similar. We underlying things that we show people are chaos metrics, but they're presented in collections that are more descriptive and useful than looking at seventy discrete metrics. What time zone were you referencing? Oh, C <laughs> CDT. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, it's too late for me to join, unfortunately, but yeah. if and you it's, record it or have notes, I'll definitely take a look. We, I do believe that we're recording it and those notes, um, that those notes are the ones I just shared. We've only okay. met one time and that, that exists to come. It's meeting at that time to accommodate the Asia Pacific time zone, which I think kind of independently arrived at a similar need. Yeah. Um, to organize metrics in this way. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. I cannot join that call either because Tuesday nights is family night. Mm, I understand. Yeah. Uh, so is there um, any any takeaway, Sean, that we can create for the meeting tomorrow or any? I think sharing what you've already accomplished here would be very useful. Um, I think this, the PowerPoint deck is, you know, a way of working kind of from the top down instead of the bottom up is, I think, would be very useful to the group. Like, I think that group would benefit from seeing this. Like, it's something that I would intend to share with them. Okay. So then I'm, I'm going to ask, since I cannot join uh, Shri or Sean, would you be able to join tomorrow? Is that meeting tomorrow? Yeah, we're meeting every week right now just because we're getting organized. Yeah. Would you be able to join tomorrow to um, help present? Because you have a lot more of the background of how we went about this, what the history was. Um, I think I, I mean, if, if they're not available to, I, I think I can represent what you've explained and we've discussed in that group. Um, yeah, it would be seven Eastern, Sean. Sean. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's, we, we have some meetings that are very early and very late that sometimes are designed to accommodate the Asia Pacific region that's very interested in this. Um, 
we do the best we can with time zones. They, they meet with us late at night at 8 a.m. our time. And then this one, I have no idea what time it is in Beijing at, uh, <laughs> at 6 p.m. Central. But that time also apparently works. Presumably it's their morning, <laughs> but I haven't looked it up. It's the morning the next day already. Yeah. So yeah. back to the future. So thank you very much, Sean, for, for uh, being available to share our work tomorrow. Um, yeah. That's good. All right. Is there anything else we want to talk about today? So, I, would, I mean, I'd say, you know, as, you, as this group moves on, if there are metrics that you would like to see develop that you don't want to develop yourself, um, Georg, maybe you can help map to a working group that could take some of them on. Or you and I together could help to do that. If this is, if that's something this group would want. Uh, I would be in support of that. Uh, there's plenty of work here. So if we can distribute that, that's always uh, a win. In my yeah, and I would presume that the ones that you've developed as metrics are already important to you, are the most important ones, like the th things that you're most interested in having ways of measuring. Yeah, and, and also it, it also propagates the work, the work or mentality that we're working from and clearly mm -hmm. find that valuable. So the... I mean, the, the very intent of this working group is to see it, or see it across many organizations. So I, I see that as very part of, the, part of the whole thing, so. Yeah. I know one of the conversations that we will be having is for the coordinator across um, different projects. I think that's what we call them. Coordinator across projects where we have, um, a lot of goals that tie back into the metrics that are already defined around commits and dependencies and whatnot. And so I think once we have this uh, conversation, there will be a lot of tie back to the metrics. Um, right now we just have event activity organizers. So yeah, I think it's a good mm -hmm. idea to create a map between what metrics like chaos level defined metrics do we already have in here mm -hmm. and which ones do we think would be good to develop for mm -hmm. in chaos yeah i think i think also the badging as i said earlier the badging program for especially for events have thought about and have a process for badging events mostly those that process is focused on diversity equity and inclusion characteristics of events though so it doesn't cover everything that is here. And ultimately, the, I think what's covered here would advance other goals of diversity, equity, and inclusion, like knowing that we get more diverse participants in events and that we have those people stick around as contributors to projects. I think that would be very important. I also think starting to make these metrics a standard of practice for communities and events mm -hmm. would make it easier to get those badges for yeah. communities just coming into the scene. Yeah, I think it would also be good to then include that in the badging process. For, for example, if we have, uh, how long do new people who attend events stay with the community? Make that one of the badging requirements that event organizers think about how they are going to collect it. They don't have to collect exactly how we say. Uh, we can provide that as a guidance, but say, hey, are you thinking about, you know, not just hosting events, but actually improving the community through the event and having long-term impact? And do you have a strategy for measuring that? I think that could be a badging criteria. Yeah. I think even having a standard of measurement, so where you aren't relying on um, 
folks to come up with their own forms of measurement, you give them a sort of example is also good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, we still have six minutes. I feel like if we started this work, it would take more time. Uh, it's it's so, always okay to give people time back. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, this was a great session. We made some progress and- I yeah. appreciate you spending so much time um, helping me understand what you've already accomplished. I always enjoy celebrating our successes. And so, <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I see it. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah. yeah. And have a great evening. Everyone. Yeah. 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 Bye, everybody. All right. Nice Bye. to meet you all. Yep. Nice meeting you. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.